Hello, hello, hello. What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid does. Back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Uh, today, I actually am in the middle of a live stream, and I just finished up the first run of Uncollected Mode for the event quest, and this bundle happened to pop up. Uh, they offered it last month, and I definitely was not ready for it because they didn't offer it the first couple of times for the Uncollected event quest. So I wanted to get it, but I definitely did not have enough units and had to unfortunately pass on it. But this month I knew it was coming, so I was prepared. So let me break it down real fast. I've got some time you can see in the corner. It's on sale for another 24 minutes and change. So got some time. Um, as you can see at the bottom there, it is regularly 5,000 units, which of course is not a small feat. Um, but like the other event quest bundles, for the first half an hour, it is 15% off. So that gets knocked down to 4,250 units, which of course is a huge savings. Um, you know, 750 units, that's roughly the equivalent of, you know, about $23, $25 US, uh, somewhere in there, since $30 is 850 units, so it's close. Um... But that's definitely no uh, no chump change to, to be discounted by. So it goes down to 4,250 units. Let's break it down real fast. Um, I'll actually work my way up. So first off, you get five of these greater champion boosts that you cannot buy in the unit store. Um, you can't really acquire them elsewhere. They're pretty much only offered through deals, whether it's in the unit store um, itself in terms of buying the units um, whether it's bundles like these or what have you, they're pretty rare and they're great for, you know, going for Legends runs or if you need it for end game content like Act 5 or Labyrinth of Legends, these are the best. These are the 30% boosts for attack and health for one full hour and you get five of them. That is huge. Um, to compare, the only ones you can buy in the store are the lesser champion boosts, which is the 10% boost and those are 90 units each. So five of those would be 450 units. So five of these, easily double that, if not more. So that's almost a thousand, that's probably a thousand units worth right there. Uh, 10 energy refills, of course those are 30 units each, so that's 300 units worth. Uh, five of the level two team revives, again those are 100 units each, so that's 500 units. So already just from these three items, we're at almost 2,000 units worth of stuff, and we're not even to the best stuff yet. Uh, three level three revives, again, you cannot buy these in the store. You can buy the level two revives, and those are 40 units each. 10 of those would be 400, so again, that's, you know, at least five to 600 units worth of stuff. Uh, 10 level five team health potions, again, you can, I believe you cannot buy those in the store. So that is gonna be a huge chunky units as well. But then the last two interesting things to talk about here. So as you can see to the big old uh, picture on the left there, you get 5,000 five-star hero crystal shards, which they're starting to come down in price. Um, you know, anytime they have those unit uh, tiered bundles that pop up for 24 hours sometimes, you know, it's usually like 1,000 units for 1,000 five-star shards and some stuff, whether it's, you know, like tier two alpha frags or... Um, you know, some other random stuff that comes in there, it's still a thousand units for a thousand shards plus that other stuff. So it's slowly starting to come down in price in terms of, you know, units per shard value. But 5,000 hero crystal shards is still, you know, two to 3,000 units worth, if not more, I'd say. Um, but the, the cream of the crop, the icing on the cake, hopefully, is this legendary crystal. And so now, thankfully, with the drop rates that were revealed, um, you can see what the actual chance is. So this is basically the step up from an ultimate crystal, which is a three star with a shot at a four star. This is a four star hero crystal guaranteed with a shot at a five star. So you see the breakdown there, just like the ultimate crystal, it's 80% for a four star with a 20% shot at a five star. And again, this mirrors the basic crystals. So it's, you know, for the four stars, it's whoever's in the four star crystal. For the five stars, it's whoever's in the five star basic crystal. So 
not going to see like Killmonger or Gladiator Hulk or MODOK or any of the others that we've been talking about today, actually. Um, but any of the basic champs will be in there. So it's a decent sized pool. So in my opinion, even if you pull a four star from this crystal, this bundle is still worth it, especially if you're trying to build up items for like a labyrinth run, if you need it for act five, whatever it is, this stuff is, there's a lot of good stuff in here. It's not cheap, obviously, but I think if you can save up for it, you should definitely get it because it will help you out immensely in the long haul just because it offers both solo and team revives. It's got the team health potions. The energy refills, of course, are nice. The boosts are fantastic um, just because they're so hard to get and you get five of them. Um, and then, of course, you get half of a five star and the chance at a full five star. So, you know, yeah, there's some RNG involved, but for the most part, this bundle is just super helpful, especially for end game content. So once again, the uh, the official MCOC or droid does recommendation is if you can get this bundle, go for it. Save up, you know, arena grind, do what you got to do, but uh, definitely save up for this bundle. So. Before I lose any more time and before that discount expires, I am not going to hesitate. Uh, I do want to screenshot it just once so I have my own version. And I am going to buy it. It is confirmed. Uh, and I have 30 units left. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Anyway, uh, let me get caught up with chat here for a second. Like I said, this is a live stream, so let me... Uh, do some catch up here. Yeah, Super Gaming is saying I need to get this deal for my second LOL run. That's honestly super. That's the exact reason why I'm getting it. Like, yeah, I, I love the five star shards, the shot out of five star, and some of that other stuff. But I've only done one run of Labyrinth, and I would like to start the second one pretty soon ish now that I'm done with Act 5. So that was the main draw for me personally as well to get this deal because I wanted to rebuild those boosts and to rebuild um, the higher level revives and potions. So that was also the main reason why I got it. Um, Doc Strange, I'm about to take on 5.3 Hyperion. Good luck to you, my friend. Hopefully I was able to help a little bit with the, uh, with the MODOK gameplay earlier in the stream. But anyway, so now Uncollected Run is over, and I have a few things to open. I'm going to work up to the 5-star and to the Legendary Crystal. Um, let's go ahead and start with a double 4-star opening, because why not? Hella got added into the Crystal this earlier this week. Um, I, of course, have her awakened as a 5-star, but I would love her as a 4-star. She She's a little bit under... Medusa in terms of like the best cosmic champion, but she is still fantastic. So I wouldn't mind having her as a four star to uh, round out the collection. Aside from that, Iceman and Stark Spidey are my top two. Um, I have them both and I would like to awaken both of them. That would be nice. Aside from that, there are a handful of champs I don't have. Uh, Hyperion. Okay, that's he's starting to get up there now in SIG level, I believe. Uh, 63, okay. So getting there, but not not too close to the max sig just yet. And let's go for the second one. Uh, Super Gaming is saying those 30% boosts are great to get. Yeah, but like I said, those are the best. One, because they last for a whole freaking hour, which is awesome. And two, because, I mean, they're 30%. That's a huge gain, especially with some of uh, your top champs. And they're just so hard to get. Again, you can't go to the regular store and buy them or anything. They pretty much only exist in these bundles, deals, offers, whatever. Second four star, Carnage. Oh, man. I think I just killed all my luck right there. Oh, well. I know I'm not getting anything good later. <laughs> uh, yes, that is, in fact, a first pull on a Carnage. Um, let me pull up my spreadsheet here and add them to the list. Um, cause I, I will admit I've sold a few four stars over, over a time. And, uh, you know, if I've needed five star shards to go for a feature to something, but carnage is one that I have never, ever pulled. So yeah, I can now add him to the collection. Hooray. <laughs> um, but that's fine. You know, like I said, I still have, 
a handful or so of champs in the four-star basic that are not in my collection yet. Most notably, Captain America World War II. I have never pulled Captain America World War II. He is the one that I've, I've really wanted the most just to get him. Um, but hey, a new champ is a new champ. Um, there is that lovely legendary crystal. I'm going to screenshot that too, maybe for uh, future thumbnails or something like that. It looks so pretty. Um, what else would I like to open? Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and pop these six stone crystals. I had one from Modoc Lab, and then uh, the other ten, of course, I just got. So let's see. Cool. Uh, skill, Mutant, and Tech are still my two big ones. Or my three big ones, excuse me, that I like to get. Um, and I got no Tech. Cosmic is fine. Those can go into Hella. Modoc would get Science, of course. And I, like I said, I only have one... Mystic 5-star champ, and that is Iron Fist. He is awakened, but I'm not going to pour any stones into him. So I'm at like 40 or 50 now. I, well, let me check. I'm curious. Uh, Metal Sonic dude, Carnage. Look at him in all caps. Yeah, isn't he so amazing? Like, he's the best champ in the game, right? I don't really need Blade anymore because I have Carnage. Um, 41, yeah. So those are just continuing to build and build and build. But anyway... Um, actually, I'm going to ask you all first. I'll, I'll keep it open for about a minute or so. What do you want to see me open first? Do you want me to go for my five-star basic? Or do you want me to go for the legendary crystal? Type your response in the chat. Um, like I said, I'll let it go for a second. And it gives me an excuse to have one more sip of coffee. Nobody? Nobody? Come on. All right. Doc Strange is saying legendary first. Metal Sonic, dude, is saying legendary first. Super Gaming is saying legendary. I think I'm pretty much getting a common thread here. Um, so I think I will start with that. Okay. So, again, just as a breakdown, this... Ooh. Excuse me. Let me, let me make sure I get this description correct. This special crystal guarantees a four-star hero with a chance of obtaining a five-star. Um, I might play with that later, so I, I would like to screenshot that as well. I don't think I've ever seen any of their crystals be dubbed special. So, yeah, definitely need to... Uh, I'm going to have to do something with that. Okay, so, again, we saw the drop rates. It's an 80-20 spread. Get this guy in the spinner. It's a good looking crystal. It kind of looks like a map six crystal, actually. Um, very interesting. I know, I apologize for all the screenshots. I just like having images to use for potential thumbnails and what have you. But anyway, um, I am going to spin this crystal out. Let it go. Oh, look at all those five stars to begin with. Um, I know it takes super long these days, and I apologize, but for this and for maybe the basic as well, I'm just going to let it spin out. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to do anything. Top choices. Uh, Iceman, Stark Spidey, Ghost Rider, um, uh, Voodoo would be great. Again, some Mystics to start filling in the gaps there. So Dormammu, um, well, I already mentioned Voodoo, Ghost Rider. Uh, Mephisto would be awesome. Uh, who else would I want? Pretty good spread, I would say. Those, those are my top five or six or however many I listed there. Maybe seven? Uh, feel free to count. Okay, it has stopped on its own. And what's it going to be? Get out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ugh. God, not even a chance at a five star. Like, not even a chance of a rollover. That was ugly. That was ugly. Uh, Doc Strange, I think the Eye of Agamotto failed this time, bud, because, yeah, that wasn't even close. Nor was it even, like, a Max Sig. Ugh. I mean, Luke Cage is fine, but no. Just no. All right. Well, um, that was kind of a bummer. Like I said, the deal is still worth it, but it would have been worth it even more if I actually got a five-star. So we're going to move on and finish this live stream and this video 
with a five star hero crystal basic pull. Um, everything still applies. Everything still applies to those champs that I was looking for. Um, here we go. Same deal. I'm not going to let this one, uh, I'm not going to tap this one early. I'll just let it go. Some others I'd be cool with. Hulk. I've always wanted a five star Hulk. That would be, that would be nice to have. For Ragnarok, I know he'd be decent on prestige, and I would actually really like him for synergies that I have with, um, with Hela, etc., etc. So speaking of, a five-star Angela would be cool. Same deal. Would be she's great on her own, plus some really good synergies with all of them kind of combined. You know, we're talking uh, Hela, Loki, regular Hulk, Gladiator Hulk, Thor Ragnarok, just kind of building some more teams around them. That would be kind of cool. Ah, oh, man. Okay, stopped on its own. Here we go. What is this basic going to be? Magic? Magic? Okay, Hulk. I was just talking about Hulk, and I got a Hulk. That is fine. I'm okay with that. Of course, he needs to be awakened to, to live up to his true potential, but that's a good start. I am, uh, I'm not disappointed with that at all. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. It's a new science champ, and it'll uh, definitely help, like I said, with synergies and what have you. So, that's okay. That is okay. Um, let's go take a look at him right now, actually. But yeah, so apparently it's a science day because of the four-star Luke Cage and then the five-star Hulk. Interesting. Um, all right. Again, not a top choice, but uh, no complaints there. I still I still like my four-star Hulk, so if I can get this guy awakened, I would be happy with that. Um, like I was saying, he's good for some synergies with some of these folks here. Um, particularly with Hela, well, the, the team that is built around Hela. Oh man, what's 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 the old Revengers team, if you will? I know obviously Thor Ragnarok is involved, and I don't have him above. I don't think I have him as a three star yet, do I? I might actually. I do. Okay, um, but of course I need the four star to see all of the synergies. But essentially, you know, if I got like a team of Hela, Angela, uh, Hulk, Thor Ragnarok, and Loki, I believe is the team. Um, they have a lot of cool synergies between all of them. Some of them are individual of the champs. Some of them are team based. But yeah, it's a that's a fun team from what I've seen. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not disappointed with the basic. I'm disappointed with the legendary crystal, of course, but uh, the basic made up for it. So yeah, not complaining too much over here. I'm I'm okay with that. And it's a new champ, uh, which is helpful for the arena grind. I'm up to what did I say the other night? I think I'm at. I was at 28, so now I'm at 29, five stars. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 20, yeah, 29, five stars. So one more to get that rounded 10 sets of teams. Okay, yeah. Um, like I said, overall I'm happy. First run done. Um, the item stash is now looking a lot better because of, where are you at? All those lovely things that got added. You got those, you got the team revives, you got the solo revives, you got those beautiful looking 30% boosts up there, sorry about that. Plenty full on energy refill, so when the next completion event rolls around, I can hopefully burn through, uh, you know, uncollected and some other stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy how this, how this finished out, so no complaints here. Um, but anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for the stream. Wow, it's already been going for an hour 45. Uh, not bad, not bad. So, yeah, like I said, that is going to wrap it up for the live stream here. I hope you enjoyed first run of Uncollected, the breakdown of the Legendary Bundle. I know it kind of bled together with this five-star basic, so I'll see how my editing skills will hold up. Um, and all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for coming out for those who did. Again, if you're not already a, a subscriber, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm still in the middle of more content March, so lots of stuff to be put out, as today is only the 17th, uh, so still two weeks worth of stuff to go. Um, smash that like button. Again, comment down below if you're watching this on demand or in the chat while we're still wrapping up. If you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see me do, any requests, 
Um, I definitely try and look at everybody's comments on every on uh, every video that I make, just to make sure that you all are heard and they, you know that I see you, I appreciate you, even if it's just a quick response or something. Um, I really do appreciate the subscribers um, and everyone who comments and likes and all that stuff. I'm very close to 200, as was pointed out earlier in the stream, so hoping to get to that benchmark pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up here. Happy Saturday once again, everybody. Hope you have a good weekend ahead of you. Uh, aside from that, uh, take care, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot, everybody.